Hey gang, thanks for tuning in to D News. I'm Trace. 2012 DA14 is an asteroid and it is going to buzz by planet Earth. To learn more about this maverick asteroid buzzing our tower here, I called up Dr. Ian O'Neill, an astrophysicist and a space producer for our very own DiscoveryNews.com, and I reached him via Skype. So here he is. Hey, Trace, how's things going? Worried about this asteroid that's going to fly over our heads here? Shouldn't worry that much. No? No. So uh, well, why not? why not? Why shouldn't I worry? Well, for a start, this thing is going to be flying along at quite a steady pace, around about 17,000 miles an hour. But fortunately, it's got, not going to make a closer approach than 17,000 miles out. So that seems pretty far away. Well, if you imagine like a golf course and you shot your, your ball across the, to the green and it landed next to the hole, it would literally be skipping off the edge of the hole. So it's close on cosmological things. But for us personally, we're fine. It's not going to hit us. But it is right. really, really close, and it's a bit of a rough reminder by the cosmos that we're not alone out here. Yeah, so how can it get so close? Doesn't our gravity want to, like, grab it and pull it in? Yeah, that's the kind of cool thing, because this, this object is a, it's about, what, 130,000 tons, larger than the largest cruise liner. So it's a heavy lump of rock, we assume. It could be metal, it could be loosely packed. But it's actually going to come so close to the Earth's gravitational well, it's going to be slingshotted away. Okay, and we're altering its orbit. So is it is it going to come back? It's, it's, it's not going to come back soon, but it will come back in around about three decades, they reckon. Huh, okay. Is this, the, is this the nearest miss that we have on record? Um, certainly in recent years, yeah, because uh, of course the, the asteroid hunters and asteroid hunting programs are kind of in their infancy. So certainly in the last few decades, this is the closest near miss of something this size. And the Earth gets hit daily by small piece, pieces of asteroid. I hear it's going to pass inside of our communication satellites. Is there a chance it could hit one? Is that possible? Yeah, um, as I said, there's no, there's no chance it's going to hit Earth but it could knock out your TV. But the likelihood of this happening is extremely slim. Okay, so since it's not gonna hit us and it's not gonna take out our television, what are we doing? Well, this is the cool thing. I mean, once you get over the terrifying aspect that there are big, huge space rocks out there, you've got scientists that are getting very excited because we're being given an opportunity, a scientific opportunity to actually see one of these things in this natural environment. And it's gonna come so close that we're gonna be able to see it with, uh, with a moderate sized telescope or a um, just a basic pair of binoculars. Over Indonesia is actually the, probably the closest point where it's going to pass over. So the best point, if you want to see this thing, it's Indonesia. Uh, but hmm. scientists, professional astronomers, they're actually get, getting their uh, radio antenna and they're going to they're going to fire some uh, radio waves at it, ping it back, and they're going to actually see the surface composition of this asteroid. And it's going to be a great opportunity to see, see something this size. They've done it before on smaller asteroids. This is the biggest one they've seen so close. The, as I say, the best place, if you've just got a telescope and a pair of binoculars, if you live in Eastern Europe, um, Australia, um, Asia, or Indonesia, which was the best place to see it, you'll know. But also uh, on Discovery News, we're gonna have a how-to guide of how you could possibly spot the asteroid if you live in those areas. But unfortunately, United States, Really, it's just going to be up to the radars and the, the, the radio telescopes that can actually see this thing fly by. This is like a trial run, if you like. This is our warning from the cosmos saying, look, there's these things out here. There's a lot more of us than you actually know of right now. Um, you really better get back into space and form some sort of space infrastructure so you can protect mankind and the planet later on. So thanks a lot for talking to me, Dr. Ian O'Neill, everyone. Uh, you can find him on Twitter at Astro Engine. So, thanks Thank a lot. you, Trace. It's been a pleasure. Would landing on an asteroid make you excited for space exploration? Let us know and make sure you subscribe to D News so you can get all of our videos every day. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time. <laughs>